Earth signs Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see what are your person's thoughts, intentions towards you and this connection. What is it that goes through their mind here when they think of you, when they hear your name? What is it that, you know, what is it that they want for you and for the future of this connection? Uh, I just want to mention that there is actually going to also be a part two to this reading and part two is going to be made via the extension link below. For those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will be listing my email address below the video as well, just where that section is. Otherwise, guys, I want you to take a moment. I want you to hold a vision of your person romantic energy in your mind's eye and we'll go ahead and see what is it that you know what are what are their intentions what do they want from out of this connection deck you have the queen of cups you have both the queen and the king of cups i think a lot of you are looking for something something very uh stable very committed a loving loyal relationship you don't want to be let on and somehow you feel that you know your intuition here feels as though there's something here that you're being left in the dark about and i think you're right the problem is i think there are the problem is I think that your person might be telling you that they may not want commitment now, okay? Or they might be, even if they don't tell you this verbally, maybe physically, but they might want commitment later on. And they're just trying to maybe string you along or lead you along. Lead you on, sorry. So what exactly is going on with the state of this uh, relationship or the state of this connection? Well, you know, he he or she is interested in you okay there is this romantic there is an energy of there is there are feelings involved there are romantic feelings involved but i also feel like there are some toxicities involved here so i feel like there may be more than two people involved in this connection and if your intuition is hinting at that if your intuition feels like something is wrong or something is off Tap into that intuition, tap into the feelings, probe those feelings a little bit deeper because you've got the Queen and the King of Cups and, you know, your intuition doesn't lie here. So I feel like for some of you, this person maybe is sometimes very blunt or is, some, is sometimes, you know, there might be sometimes very convincing here that a relationship or a commitment isn't something that the two of you want. They might really skip, like when you ask this person what do they want, they might really like skirt around the question here. This person acts like they're on the fence. Yeah, this person is a little bit, <clears throat> you've got the seven of cups here. An emotionally scattered energy. I think they're a little bit confused. I also feel like this is someone who is leaving space in their life for other energies, other romantic prospects. Um, they're, one, they're leaving space in their life for options or choices. And I think this person isn't someone who is, you know, prioritizing you. I feel like this is someone who's treating you like a number or, you know, just uh, an option, not a priority here. So I think the what's really important here is stating your intentions if you haven't done that just yet it might be a good idea okay you need to be able to communicate effectively because what you want and what they can give you might not be one and the same thing i do feel like you know the devil is the devil doesn't do love the devil does lust 
and yes the two of you share a very intense you share very intense feelings for one another because there are romantic feelings involved it might even be love guys but not all love is healthy in fact a lot of the time it isn't it could also be very strong feelings of infatuation and and um you know very strong feelings of attraction that they feel uh, for you so it might be love lust sorry that disguises itself as lust but with the devil's energy it's a heavy kind of energy okay and there is some toxicities either about them or about the connection now the two of you might be very addicted and you might be very consumed to to each other okay you might be very addicted to each other to 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 your love you might be each other's object of obsession and infatuation and desire but whatever whatever is going on here and there's something going on here it feels like it's not healthy and it feels like it is something that is depleting you of your energy whether it's emotional physical or mental i think your person isn't being entirely honest with you and i think that you are being you know just as your intuition suspects you are being in held in the dark about something i feel like your person may be seeing someone else maybe attached to someone else they could be in a marital relationship with someone else they may be talking to someone else or there could be an ex as well around them and their feelings for the ex might not have dissolved so even if they're not seeing the ex but they haven't emotionally gotten over the ex and they still may be hold, holding space in their life for this ex so i think it's really important for the two of you to kind of you, you know you need to state what your intentions are here and the two of you really need to communicate because i think there's something going on your person is someone who comes on very strongly and then pulls away and I think this is, with the devil, it's more about instant gratification rather than, you know, it's, with the devil, it's make, it's like, very much like the lover's card, it's about making the choice. And with the devil, the choice is the choice of instant gratification, pleasure, versus the long-term pain, the long-term effects of this connection. You choose, you get to make that choice. This person might just want to casually date you. They just might want to casually date you. They just might want a casual arrangement. Or they might be leading you on, stringing you along, telling you that, yeah, you know, one day this could lead to something, but not, it's just the illusion of a, uh, the illusion of a promise, the, the illusion of an unfulfilled promise. Be careful that, I think, just going back to some of you, for those of you who haven't necessarily set your intentions for this connection, because I feel like you haven't. I feel like the two of you, you know, you sort of just are swept away in the attraction for each other. You might also be just in the honeymoon phase of this connection. Or even though you know this person is attached, is in a relationship, you're disregarding that, you're dismissing that, or vice versa here. And I feel like you have to, this is why it's important to state your intentions. But be careful when you do to state your intentions here because it's like for some of you you know you, you come you could come across as a little bit like marriage or in your like marriage obsessed or very direct very in your face so make sure that your intentions are clear and that your person receives your message loud and clear but also make sure that you know you're not potentially like because for some of you I'm hearing the word fun right you're not really interested in dating someone just for the fun of it but this person might not completely understand what that means i'm also seeing that their intentions are different to yours but they're trying to sort of amend their intentions to appease you and keep you around and that's bad that's that's not a good thing so maybe this person like you know it goes both ways as well guys but if you're looking for someone's something serious but this person isn't but they tell you that they are they're only doing it to appease you they're only doing it to keep you around they're only doing it to get what it is that they want do you know what i mean it's, it's not going to happen so you're only setting yourself up for failure you're only setting yourself to get hurt um and these toxicities i'm, I'm picking up to something very toxic about this connection so is it that this person indulges in a toxic substance uh, they could heavily rely on alcohol, drug addictions, or some sort of gambling addiction. If that's the case, I think this person is really, I'm seeing that they're very infatuated with this. They're very addicted and consumed by this. And 
It's like they have to make a choice between this relationship or this addiction. Let me tell you, this person is so far gone that they choose, they're leaning towards the choice of uh, the addiction here. Or it could be that the two of you are really, uh, as mentioned you know, before, you're really addicted and consumed to one another. But so much so that, yeah, there's a lot of passion and attraction, but you guys are not expressing your emotions in a healthy way. It could also be that you're just toxic for one another. Okay, and, and you know, it, it's a thing here. Okay, you're toxic for one another, but you can't let go. Your person has something to tell you, but you're, they're keeping you in the dark about this. And we're going to explore in part two of the reading exactly what that is. I think it has something to do with an ex or another person. I also feel like your person does care about you to a degree. They care about hurting your feelings or they care about how you respond that they're keeping this from you. Okay, I feel like your person does feel very strongly about you and about this connection, but I don't know that, I feel like neither of you seem to understand what you have with each other. And this is why it's so important for you to listen to your intuition, because I think throughout the connection, your intuition has warned you, you know, emotions are running high, I get it, they're running rampant, but are you right for each other? You feel like, you know, you've met someone, but you're not accepting that this person might not meet your needs or expectations, or they might not want what it is that you want from, you know, out of this connection. This is someone who maybe, you know, you've known since, you know, you feel a very strong emotional connection, emotional pull towards this person. And maybe the two of you have been, you know, great friends and you have a very great friendship, or you've known this person since, you know, childhood, young adulthood. But it feels like the two of you are confused as to what what this is and what's really going on. I think there's a lot of compatibilities and I think that's what keeps you attracted to, to one another. I think, but I think what's... There's a lot of emotional confusion, a lot of emotional uncertainty. And to me, it feels like this person has more than just, you know, more than just one point of attraction being you. I think they have their, they're wanting to keep their options open. They could be a bit of a player. They could be someone who's not willing to settle down or they might not want commitment. They might be incapable of commitment. I think that this is something that you are maybe choosing to ignore because with the Seven of Cups, energy it's you know you need to look past the glistening allure of this of this illusion of what you know the potential of what this could be in part two of the reading guys we're going to explore this message that this person needs to share with you and i, I feel like this is a little bit crowded i feel like there's more than two energies involved we'll go ahead and explore um what the you know who else is involved here and what exactly how are you exactly how are you toxic for one another okay so follow me to part two via the extension link below for those of you interested in a reading feel free to email me thank you guys so much for your time your energy please show your support by liking sharing subscribing to the channel bye